Okay, let's, let me speak Take to Charles in team. He says he has Mickey a revelation. Charles. Mickey Charles. Mickey Charles, yes. Mm. The, the president of Techiman City. Yeah. He's on Zoom with us. He says he has a revelation to make. Uncle Charles, good evening. Good evening, Paul. How are you, Paul? I'm good. Uh, I'm not good, but I'm good. Uh, they say you have a revelation to make. Tell us. Why, why, why are you not good? Because why are you not good? today is the lowest, the lowest performance of the Black Stars in global history. Yeah, but it's something we should have expected long ago. Why? Well, Paul, good evening to your viewers. Um, Paul, I have said this time and again and again. That look, if we keep doing the same thing, you don't expect, you don't expect us to get a different results. I mean, look at our black stars. Like you just said, I mean, today is the most... I, I, I just don't even know what to say. People complain about the way Milo was appointed by the Ghana Football Association. A lot of Ghanaians were complaining. Look, let me tell you something, Paul. I keep saying that Ghanaians don't hate the Black Stars like some of our media guys want us to believe. It is the leadership of the current FA that has made the Black Stars look so bad in the face of Ghanaians. Uh, Uncle Charles, my, my people want you to lower the volume on your sound a little bit. Kill it completely. Uh, I don't have any sound. You don't have any sound? Here, Paul. Okay, please go on. No, I don't have any sound. I'm sitting in my car. Okay, please go on. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, it is not as if Ghanaians hate the black stars like some people want us to believe. It is about, it is the leadership of the FA. Look, ever since Ket Okreku took the leadership of the Ghana Football Association, Look at the division amongst the members of the Ghana Football Association. This is an association which has been to the finals of the African Cup of Nations in the last 10 years twice. I mean, in the semi-finals, we've hmm. been to the semi-finals a couple of times. We've been to the quarter-finals. But ever since Kett took over, has it made any consultation with those who qualified the team to the finals of the African Cup of Nations in recent times? It was the same Kett who came and sat on national television to say he cannot work with his enemies. And so if you cannot work with your enemies, how do you expect your enemies to support the Black Stars? Paul, I started following the Black Stars way back in 1998 as a journalist in Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso, we did not do well. We came and host the tournament in Ghana. You remember Ghana, Nigeria, 2000. I have been with the national team for so many years. And you see, the Black Stars have got a peculiar style of management. If you don't know it, you need to consult people who have done it before. Catch has created enemies for the Black Stars. Look, it is, in the, it is the first time in the history of Ghana football that I've seen our own football administrators jubilating because the Black Stars have been kicked out from a tournament. We don't have bad players like people want us to believe. Look at the per per performance of Kofi Chere today. Look at Jiku. In as much as I cannot say all the players were very good, we have some positives in this current boys. How do we cast our net wide to get some of these young boys from other countries to come and then play for the national team? You take players to a tournament who were not fit to be in the tournament. Uh, okay, let's we talk about let, let's talk about the um... why was why was he in Cameroon? Okay, let's let's, point, let's talk about the point you made. So my position, my po yeah. L let's talk about the point you made about uh, Katokreku's leadership issue. Uh, as a matter of record, who and who does Kets have a problem with? It doesn't seem obvious to us that there's any problem at the executive council. Yeah, Paul. Paul, you need to be part of the Ghana Football Association. Why do you think almost about 60 members went to Congress in Kumasi demanding changes in the status of the Ghana Football Association? It has never happened before in the history of Ghana football. You can ask Dr. Jahal Tamaku. It has never happened that about 70% of the Ghana members of the Ghana Football Association went to a Congress in Kumasi just about a month ago asking for changes in the status. Because Kerr has arrogated some, has arrogated some powers onto himself and he does things without consulting the members of the Ghana Football Association. And it's exactly what I'm saying, that he has created enemies for the national teams. How do we make national team call-ups in this country? How? How do we do it? Currently, people have a perception that, look, Kate is doing call-outs with some technical members of the Ghana Football Association. That is the perception out there. 
And I keep saying that until we come back, sit down, and put our house together, a lot of Ghanaians will always be praying that the Black Stars will lose their matches. And I, like I'm telling you, some football people were jubilating. Members of the Ghana Football Association were jubilating because the Black Stars have been kicked out of a tournament. Mm. Okay, I think your point is Why well made. Why are we doing this to ourselves? The point is well made on leadership. Uh, Uncle Charles, we'll come back to you as we take more analysis from the studio.